Liberia being a small country that came out of war, uh, that affected our infrastructure, the healthcare system was broken down, educational system affected, the roads, electricity and water, everything is broken down. And um, since that time, we have been trying as a government to put the broken pieces together. The last nine years have been a tremendous effort on the part of the government to see that uh, the economic recovery is on course. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, in the middle of nowhere, we had this attack from the Ebola. When, when the healthcare system was down, uh, we, we were caught with our pants down, and, and we have been overwhelmed by that. Um, living in a country like the United States, a Western country, civilized country like the United States, our hope is that we will not be stigmatized. What we have been calling for is um, for the rest of the world to help us, to join us, to isolate Ebola, to mm. contain the virus, to be able to uh, eradicate that. Currently is, is a West African situation, but it could soon be a global issue as we're getting to see some signs of that. So our appeal is how we can be able to contain that where it is. Uh, and doing that is to isolate the virus, not to isolate the Liberians or the Sierra Leoneans or the Guineans. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are very concerned about that and we hope we're not going to get to the point where West Africans will be stigmatized either at school uh, a little child in the daycare is turned away because the fact that he come, he or she comes from Liberia, uh, a nurse aide at, at, at the workplace in a nursing home is sent away only because she was coughing or sneezing. Or a, a, a young high school graduate want to seek admission to a community college mm -hmm. is not given admission simply because he or she comes from West Africa. We hope we're not going to get there.